What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new series actually. You're watching episode one right now of an entire series where I'm going to show you guys how to create an intro, how to create video templates, everything like that. So we're not going to use Vegas Pro or any other software. We're going to use InVideo. InVideo.io is basically a website that provides you ton of stuff. Intros, templates. I'll just show you guys an overlay right now. We have tons of stuff on the website, brand, intro, outro, brand promo, long form ads, branding templates, video presentations. We have so many things to cover. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really stunning intro using InVideo. If you guys are excited for this, I don't know like if this is going to be a mini series or just a regular one, because, because at this point of recording, I don't even know how many episodes we're going to get out of this website. It can't be that they're adding stuff in the meantime and that this is like going to be an ongoing series. So I'm not really too sure if it's called a mini series yet or a regular series but nonetheless if you guys are excited for this and taking your youtube career to the next level using in video make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're watching here for the first time for more videos just like these so with that out of the way let's get started right after the intro All right, guys, so this is the page where you will land on if you click the first link down in the description. And what's really cool is they set me up with a 25% discount code using Alex25 when you're ready. So make sure that you don't miss out on this deal. Grab that discount and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create a really, really amazing intro for your YouTube channel in 2020. So right here, this is basically the website. We have all kinds of templates that we can make. We have Facebook stories, YouTube landscape videos, Instagram story, Facebook newsfeed, Instagram posts. We even have IGTV, Twitter timeline, Facebook ads, LinkedIn news feeds, Snapchat stories, and everything for social media. But right now in this video, we're gonna focus on the intro. So at the top, it says categories, and we're gonna hit brand intro slash outro. So right here, we will land on this incredible page where we have so many really, really cool intros that we can actually choose from. So first of all, we have to think like, all right, what kind of intro are we creating? What's the theme of the intro what's the theme of your youtube channel so for my channel we have to pick some tech related things because we have like tutorials and all of that you know so i'm just gonna browse through the library a little bit so we would actually just browse a little bit through the templates and see which one would fit best i think this magic spell logo reveal looks really nice so this is what that template looks like now i want to point out that over the past couple of years we all are familiar with the craziest intros and having text on the screen shaking like crazy having the loudest and the fastest music and hard style or whatever intros you really don't need that you want to keep an intro just a couple seconds you don't need a 45 second intro because everybody is going to skip through and that's not good for your watch time so right now what we're going to do is we're going to customize this one so we also have different variations of this template which is really really cool so right now we're going to pick the white screen 16 by 9 because this is going to be our youtube intro so then we're going to click on you this template and now it's going to load for a couple seconds so we can actually start editing so when the template is loaded this box will prompt where you'll be asked to upload your brand logo i'm just going to use my classic gah yellow logo that i'm going to load in right now all right so i selected the logo it's done uploading so let's hit done this is basically our workspace right here we have a really really big preview screen at the bottom we have our timeline where we can shrink this down as you can see and you know do all the cutting on the right we have a lot of overlay options and logos and where we can add in layers and text and all that and change the project colors we have like images and anything that you can load in for example like music text stickers effects shapes enhancers and your own uploads so let's go ahead and customize the intro that we just picked and we had the logo loaded in for all right so at the bottom you have the length of your intro so if you drag this a little further i would say around if this is going to be the intro that we we'll end up using we just want to keep this very short and powerful which is around four or five seconds so i'm going to drag this guy to the right until we reach five seconds so let's play it back right now all 
which is really cool. But I think the black lasts a little bit too long. So let's make this three seconds. Let's go ahead and customize a couple things we have on the screen. So right here we have obviously the, the overlay, which is our intro. Then we have our logo. What's really cool is we can just make this one bigger. So we can just drag this corner to the bottom to make it larger. And obviously we can just center it by making sure that we will lock it into place on those lines. Let me make it a little bit smaller though. Just it fits between these shapes just like that. And then at the bottom, we can also customize our text. So right here, it says in video.io, we can basically type in anything that we like. We can type in our own channel name, for example, just Alex Halford, but we can also, you know, type in the kind of content that we make, for example, Vegas Pro, tutorials, deep web, OBS, tutorials, anything that you like. But I would just keep it on your channel name because then people really know who they're watching. Place this once in the center, but we can also change up the style and the font. So I think this one is a little bit too standard. So let's go ahead and browse through all the fonts. So let's see which kind of font is actually popping. I think this bold one looks really nice. So then we can actually pick regular. So then let's play it back and let's see what we created so far. All right, I see that D is cut off. So make this one a little bit wider and also position this in the middle, just like that. So now we have our name under it because people might think like, what is J-A-H? But that's just the initials of my YouTube name. So it's very, very clear who they're watching and there's nothing more to it. I would just also just make sure to download this without music. If you don't find anything cool on the website, you can just always add in your own songs. And it's basically up to you which kind of template you are actually editing because this is just one of the many templates you can choose from. And I just like to keep this one straightforward. You might think this intro is a little bit too simple but this is just what i would pick for my channel theme and all that and obviously you can pick way way better templates that are way more enthusiastic so this is basically how you customize the text now at the bottom we also have colors i would keep that on zero i would keep the opacity on zero because otherwise we will have like this box under it like a square one but then we also have drop shadow we can just add in a little bit of shadow onto our text that's always nice but then the animation you can also see how you customize it all right, so let's pick character and let's pick this fade from up transition and let's see what it looks like. So that looks really, really cool. If you drag the duration a little bit to the right, we can see that the text is now coming in from like the other side, which is really, really nice. So I would just keep it like that. And the text box animation, we don't have anything because it's transparent. You can also change the project colors to any color that you like, for example, like red. So the text will be on the red side of things. You can also have like turquoise. We can also have like a little bit darker than regular white. So it's like nice and silver. Let's see what that looks like. As you can see, the text right now is like kind of silvery. Looks really, really cool. You can customize this completely to your wants and needs, guys. And once you are done, you just want to click on preview and export. So this is basically what the intro looks like with a sound effect included. But of course, you can add in like your other sound effects or a little drop from a song with a fade out. So then when you're done doing that, you can also click on export video and then it's going to render out your video in the highest quality possible. And this is where you can get 25% off your order using code Alex25. The link is also down in the description to that, that will take you straight to the website. And then you also want to give this a couple seconds to process. Okay, so now you see that it is completed. Right now, we can just download this one real simple by clicking on this download button. And then as you can see, it will prompt this box and you can just open it or you can save it wherever you like. And it's only one megabyte big. So let's open it. And I'm not gonna show you guys this intro through my screen recording with OBS because it's gonna compress the quality. So I'm just gonna literally overlay the downloaded intro into the editing so you guys can see the full quality. This is basically how you create a really, really amazing and short and powerful intro. And like I've mentioned, you don't have to be limited by this intro. We have tons and tons of different ones on the website. I can't say it enough, guys. Make sure to use my code Alex25 for 25% discount. Go and save some money, create your intro for 2020. And that's basically how simple it is. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. Now stay tuned because in the next episode, we're going to cover how to create an amazing outro because that's pretty obvious. 
obvious if I showed you today how to create an intro. You guys also want to have a really, really amazing outro as well. So stay tuned for the next episode that's going to release upcoming Tuesday because this series about InVideo is planned for every Tuesday on the channel. Keep an eye on your sub box and obviously I can already hear the comments and Instagram DMs like anytime I introduce a new series. Are you going to stick to Vegas Pro? Guys, I want to mention years and years ago when I started Vegas Pro tutorials, this is very important. Vegas Pro has brought the channel to where it is today. So I'm not going to ever like stop doing Vegas Pro tutorials. We just have mini series like every now and then on the channel, different kinds of videos. But Vegas Pro has always been the core of this channel. So that's why we're going to keep Vegas Pro rolling no matter how many future episodes we're going to have. We can be, even be at episode 2000, you know, in the near future. And we're only at like 500 or something like that. Don't worry, Vegas Pro is here to stay. I'm just adding a couple of mini series for you guys that could be interesting for a YouTube channel. So that's it, guys. And I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video. Thank you.